everyone I have so much to do I'm working on pet portrait ornaments and I have three done so far out of one order that consists of five ornaments and actually I have a total of 19 ornaments to do <sighs> that's a lot of work but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna show you some of the ornaments that I've done so far I did this kitty I did this doggy. I and I did this doggy. Like I said, there's for this one order, there's five ornaments to do. So I have two more for just that one order. And it's another dog and another cat. I also have other orders that I need to work on. I have a watercolor uh, portrait to work on. I have a cat painting to work on and a cat drawing to work on. And I also still have a treble clef uh, pendant that I need to finish. Oh, let me show you my watercolor that I'm working on. I have never worked with watercolor before but here's a portrait. It's not finished yet, but it's getting there. I have a lot to do. All of this stuff is um, needing to be finished before Christmas. So I have a lot of time, but considering all of the orders that I need to do, it really isn't a lot of time, especially with the colored pencil drawings. Those take me forever. So um, I'm really hoping that I can uh, speed things up a bit and knock out a bunch of these orders let me show you the next doggy that i'm going to be painting on this one i'll be doing this and the kitty that will go on a green ornament will be this i love this position it is so cute and i'm excited to do this
before I actually start painting the animals, I like to do a silhouette of them first. I, I quickly started moving past the outline stage. Now I'm just able to eyeball it and just do the silhouette and then add its details. These are the next three that I'm gonna be working on. I'm actually gonna take a break from working on these ornaments and I'm gonna to tone this canvas. I usually use yellow ochre to tone it, but I'm gonna try something a little different because I'm tired of seeing yellows. I'm going to tone it with my pale umber, which is like a grayish color. I'm gonna spray this canvas. Have a juice pouch, yes. Thanks, bud. I said thank you. Hold on, Michaela. What's he doing? I'm toning a canvas. I actually like doing this better because you don't really see the brush strokes when using your hands to do this. Whereas if I was toning it with a brush, you'd see all kinds of brush strokes. I also gotta do the edges, but I'm actually not gonna do that right now. Look at how my mom's cat is sleeping. I still have no idea what I'm doing with these huge canvases. I have uh, this silicone mold for heart stones and I need to see which one is gonna fit right in this treble clef. So I feel like the middle would be good but let's see. I'm gonna make sample stones where it's just plain resin, no color, and then I'm gonna try sizing it. Oh, hi, Cleo. Hi. You're such a pretty girl. Love you too. Where are you at? I'm at my table. Um, oh, Cleo. Yeah, Cleo was here. Right. Fine? Yeah, everything's fine. Bye -bye. I'm just making a stone. Baby. 
No, I'll be okay. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely the middle one. That one's perfect. Yes. When I come back up. You see that shiny thing? Yeah, that's the stone that I made. And I think it, it fits perfect. That one's definitely it. Uh, I took a shower and now I need to work on this outline. Yes, I did, baby. Alright everyone, that is all for tonight. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. And if you watched the entire video, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.